All the kids these days are talking about tear-offs, but you might not know what that is, and at this point, you're too afraid to ask. I remember the first time I learned what a tear-off was. I had just gotten one wrong, and the linter was like, what is even your problem today? I was writing an on-tap handler for a widget, and I had code that looked like this. I got the famous red squiggle of doom, and the linter said, don't create a lambda when a tear-off will do. And so then I said, don't create a lambda when a what now will do? Fast forward two seconds, and after Googling what on earth a tear-off was, I realized that this was the code Dart wanted me to write. If you're an experienced programmer, you probably see what's happening here right away. But if you're newer, it may still be unclear. And that's OK. To understand this better, let's think about this code, which we all write sometimes when we're laying out a UI and not giving any thought to functionality. In that second line of code, the onPressed parameter, we're supplying a function to the elevated button widget. We're not calling it, we're just supplying it, so the widget can call it later. And you know what's another way to supply a function as a parameter without calling it, so the underlying widget can call it later? This. Assuming my handler is a function with the same signature and return type as what onPressed accepts, then we can drop it directly into the onPressed parameter slot. And this concept is what Dart calls a tear-off where you use a function directly as a parameter or variable without the unnecessary dressing of a lambda. Remember, lambdas are anonymous functions, so the lambda was all the stuff around my handler. And so once I'd processed all this, I returned to what the linter had said. It assured me it wasn't mad, just disappointed, so I followed its advice. I didn't create a lambda when a tear-off would do. And since that fateful day, I've grown more comfortable with tear-offs, which means I've bumped up against their one odd limitation. Since the beginning of time, constructors were methods that could not be used as tear-offs. Imagine you had a data class with a from JSON factory constructor, and then you had another class, maybe somewhere in your state management apparatus, that needed a builder for your first class. Much to our collective chagrin, the following code did not work for no obvious reason. And so the linter would look the other way, and we had to create lambdas, because in this case, the tear-off would not do. But there's good news. Starting with the latest stable release of Flutter, which bumps you past Dart 2.15, constructor tear-offs are a thing. So next time you've got yourself a widget that requires a certain type of function, and you've already got that function on hand, just pass it in directly and thank the Dart tear-off fairies. And if that function is actually a constructor, now you can pass it in too. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev.